Did you know that the universe's most massive and bright stars die in spectacular fashion, causing some of the most powerful explosions known as supernovae? These explosions can produce up to 10 octillion joules of energy, which is equivalent to the energy produced by our sun over its entire lifetime. These explosions, shockwaves and debris, can result in the formation of neutron stars or black holes. Furthermore, supernovae play an important role in the evolution of the universe by dispersing heavy elements required for the formation of new stars and planets. Every day, explosions shake the icy reaches of space. So, what exactly is going on in space? What danger do such explosions pose to humanity? This video will shed light on the most powerful explosions observed in the history of the universe. Prepare your sunglasses. Today is going to be a beautiful day. The famous the Crab Nebula is a well-studied astronomical object that attracts both amateur and professional astronomers. The supernova that created the Crab Nebula was first observed by Chinese astronomers in 1054 and was visible during the day for several weeks. Today, the nebula is visible to the naked eye as a faint, fuzzy patch of light in the constellation Taurus. It is, indeed, a well-known story. Another well-known explosion, recently investigated by scientists and dubbed a perfect cosmic explosion. Scientists studied the collision of two neutron stars, the combined mass of which is approximately 2.7 times that of the Sun. They orbited each other for billions of years before colliding and exploding. It occurred in NGC 4993, a galaxy 140-150 million light-years from Earth. The merger of two neutron stars results in a powerful kilonova explosion. This explosion produced the most powerful magnetic fields in the universe, as well as the brightness of a billion suns. The stars then collapsed into a black hole. The existence of Kilonovi was proposed in 1974, and their existence was confirmed in 2013, but it was unknown what this phenomenon looked like. In NGC 4993, a merger of two neutron stars was discovered in 2017. Kilonova was studied using the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. The researchers predicted that the explosion would resemble a flattened disk, but then they saw the sphere. According to scientists, the fact that they reached an almost ideal sphere, formed as a result of the explosion, exceeded all their expectations. But precisely, August 20th, 2019 will go down in astronomical history as a watershed moment. The emptiness of space was illuminated on that day by the most powerful X-ray flare ever observed by the NASA Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer Telescope nicer. This telescope is an ISS component that was designed to study neutron stars. Scientists believe the high-intensity flash was caused by a thermonuclear explosion on the surface of the Sayax Pulsar J1808.43658 or J1808, which is the remnants of a supernova that exploded in the past. The flash was so powerful that it released as much energy in 20 seconds as the sun does in 10 days. What caused such a powerful explosion? When a large star reaches the end of its life and explodes as a supernova, its outer shells are thrown away by the explosion, and the core quickly collapses, or contracts. If the mass is insufficient to form a black hole, an extremely dense neutron star is formed. To give you an idea of how dense this matter is, a teaspoon of it weighs up to 5.5 billion tons, the star becomes a pulsar as it begins to rotate very quickly. A neutron star discharges the excess voltage arising in its massive magnetic field in the form of narrowly directed, extremely powerful radiation fluxes. But this flash was nothing like a regular pulse. J1008, which rotates at a breakneck 401 rotations per second, is a brown dwarf binary star system that draws gaseous hydrogen into its accretion disk. The unlucky combination of two objects resulted in a powerful explosion. Over time, a portion of the gas in this disk became too dense and unstable, triggering the accelerating process, which resulted in the record-breaking flash. 
The explosion on the surface of the JOA Deloitte pulsar caused the brightest flash ever recorded by the NICER telescope, but his story is full of even more incredible explosions. Gamma-ray bursts are the universe's brightest electromagnetic events. They produce more energy in a few seconds than our sun does in its entire lifetime. These massive energy impulses are created when a rapidly rotating massive star collapses and becomes either a neutron star or a black hole. The human eye cannot see such a strong pulse of light. The glow would be a million trillion trillion times brighter than our sun. With a few exceptions, such phenomena occur far beyond the borders of our galaxy. So our planet is fortunate. Furthermore, the Earth has a dense atmosphere, an atmosphere capable of withstanding a pulse wave. However, if gamma rays are exposed for an extended period of time, the bond between nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the atmosphere will begin to break. This would result in global cooling, increased solar radiation above acceptable levels, and sulfuric acid rain. Fortunately, gamma ray bursts are extremely rare. Only a few gamma-ray bursts are detected in a single galaxy over a million years. It is difficult to believe, but it is proposed that a gamma-ray burst caused the Ordovician Silurian extinction about 450-440 million years ago. At the time, nearly 85% of marine invertebrate species had vanished. Until recently, it was thought that the beginning of the Ice Age was the primary cause of this extinction event. However, a 10-second hypernova flash, 6,000 light-years from Earth, is thought to have reduced the ozone layer of our planet's atmosphere by about half, exposing living organisms on Earth's surface to a lethal dose of ultraviolet radiation. Based on geologic evidence from nearby supernovae 2.5 million and 8 million years ago, Dr. Brian Thomas, an astrophysicist at Washburn University in Kansas, USA, has modeled the biological impacts on the Earth's surface. Scientists discovered abrupt changes in the fossil record at the Pliocene-Pleistocene boundary 2.5 million years ago, particularly in Africa. This period's geological reporting also revealed an increase in the global concentration of iron-60. This is a radioactive isotope produced by supernova explosions. There was no mass extinction of all living things, but there were fewer animal species and a shift in vegetation. Astrophysicist Brian Thomas and his colleagues simulated ozone layer depletion 100, 300, and a thousand years after cosmic rays from a supernova burst begin to penetrate our atmosphere. If a supernova explodes at a distance of 30 light years from Earth, the ozone layer will be 95% depleted after 300 years. This has the potential to have catastrophic consequences for Earth as it will disrupt the food chain, including the activity of photosynthetic organisms, and ultraviolet radiation will cause mass extinction and an increase in the greenhouse effect. The burst, which may have killed living organisms millions of years ago, is still in the distant past. Scientists can only speculate on whether or not it occurred. However, the year 2019 provided the entire scientific community with the opportunity to witness the most powerful gamma-ray burst in astronomy history. It happened 7 billion light-years away in a very dense environment, right in the center of a bright galaxy. The flash released as much energy in a few seconds as the sun does in 10 billion years. The event was designated as GRB 1901 Foster 4. It was discovered by the Swift Observatory and the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope. What would happen if such a cosmic burst happened close to our planet? According to Russian and international astronomers, the danger will occur when the supernova is about 50 light years away from Earth, or even further away if the star is massive. The strength of the cosmic radiation is what matters. It will almost certainly result in mass extinction. This occurred 20 million years ago when a supernova explosion occurred approximately 325 light years from the planet. Iron radioactive particles rained down on the Earth, eventually ending up on the ocean floor. Researchers believe that this is when the Ice Age began and that this is how it progressed. The course of evolution has shifted. In general, supernovae, 
even those close to Earth, will not necessarily have an impact on the planet. Energy can be dispersed in an entirely different direction. If the stream comes directly at us, however, nothing on our planet will survive. But for the time being, humanity can sleep soundly. A thick layer of atmosphere protects us from cosmic ray attacks with air pressure of 15 pounds of air pressure per square inch. There is no supernova in Earth's immediate vicinity that threatens to explode and wipe out all life. The supernova SN 2008D, which exploded 90 million light years from Earth, is the closest of all those currently recorded. As a result, we can now observe the brightest flashes in space without fear of repercussions. By the way, the entire human race is currently anticipating the explosion of the star Betelgeuse, which is only 642 light years away from Earth. This space object is nearing the end of its life and will explode into a supernova. It could happen soon, or it could take thousands of years. Scientists believe that if Betelgeuse explodes, it will become a thousand times brighter and visible not only at night, but also during the day. So, when do you think Betelgeuse will explode? Will we witness the most spectacular heavenly event ever? Remember to like and subscribe to our channel.